Hello everybody, my name is Aegis and welcome back to the fire ruling that is Red Hill Gaming. Welcome back to Subnautica. Now in this episode I am going to be showing you, um, well, I updated my base a little bit so I just wanted this to episode to be a little bit about that so this episode should be a little bit shorter than normal. Now, I'm just going to first start off with the gallery. Welcome and aboard, Captain. The way that it's going to be working now, uh, is I'm just going to show, uh, I'm just going to do, uh, let's play the first mark every once in a while. So that way, <laughs> that way I can, uh, get to do other games. I know you guys like the, I know you guys like Subnautica, but I'm not going to be able to do it all the time. So, I'm just, gonna, I'm just saying this now so that way you guys can get ready for it because I think this might be the last episode. Not, well, not last episode, but I mean, it's a, that's just hilarious. Look at that. Crew quarters open in the little dent area. Hilarious. Anyway. So we're just going to go over here. Why is it every single time I come in here, it's always like broken or something. Something's always broken. Anyway, so we're just gonna, I'm just going to show you my gallery. I know there's seems like there's nothing in there, but that's probably just a glitch. Okay, so we're going to go. We're going to go really quickly. The sea Emperor. I, sh I visited the Sea Emperor. I haven't found her base, but I just spawned her in somewhere far away. Uh, my three amigos. I just put those guys there because I had to put those for my uh, Cyclopses. Visited the Precursor Array, and I saw the Aurora Explosion. Visited the Lava Zone. I killed a Crab Squid. That was hard, I gotta say. That was really freaking hard. I killed the Warper, which is fairly easy. And this is my neighbor. Hopefully we get to see him a little bit this episode. I'm sorry if I'm talking right, really fast. Once again. <sighs> Here's my prawn suit bay. Oh, see? Look at that. My neighbor's in the background. See that little tail, tail right there? That's him right there. That's my neighbor. The tail. Well, I mean, that's part of him. I'll show you why he's escaped, or, and where he's escaped from. This is my docking bay. Huh? There we go. See, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? And we're gonna get to visit those. And and this area is just in case. This is just for overflow. That's basically what it's for. Jeez, so many breaks in this area. No, I'm not fixing anymore. So we're just gonna go over here now. I'm just going to go through the west here, and say the names, oh jeez, window here, and, okay, so we're good, so let's see now, we got GWS Genocide, GWS Stinger, GWS Bumblebee, feel free to take these names if you want to, I don't care, you just don't post them in your own videos. GWS Lady, because we gotta have a girl here, apparently. And then we got final one, GWS Hornet. GWS Stinger, actually. He was, this guy, believe it or not, was the white Cyclops from the previous creative mode, ba creative mode base episode, where I showed you my base, this whole entire base area. Um, so yeah, that, that was the guy that I tried to destroy. And here are my plant things on top of our house areas. House areas. The tiger plant tries to kill me all the time. That's a little different right there. Um. Oh, here we go. This is the this is the thing I wanted to show you. How long is this episode? Oh, it's been four minutes so far. Uh. Let's see, now we got he down here. This area was where, this is where my neighbor came from. Call, this is why I call him my neighbor, because he came out of this area, which is underneath my base, and I basically just spawned in two Reaper Leviathans, and heh, they escaped. One, luckily, didn't escape near my base, so I am fine from there. Uh, but the other one escaped, and it sometimes it glitches and floats around my island, my, my base a little bit. So I just call him my neighbor, because he's right next to my base. And I basically spawned in two sea moths, which one of them is in GWS, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Hornet. GWS Hornet. It's in him. So, yeah. I have all this stuff here. 
and basically this the sea moss were for his uh just to, for him to play around with like a toy so i thought that's pretty cool how he did that i saw that in a video once i thought it was pretty cool how he did that it was funny to see the little guys just just see the um thing just just you know throw those things around and hopefully come on dude come on let's see if we can get him to come out that was a little glitched area Sometimes he goes in there for some odd reason. Can we get him to come out? No. Ah, oh, thank God it's very loud when he comes out. You can hear a really loud roar. Anyway, guys, so I, that is everything. Uh, hope you liked the video. Leave a like, and subscribe, and a comment saying what game you like to play next. Fire Ring, Red Hill Game. I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>